Hello Code Mavens and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabor Sabu in case you're the first time here. And in this video I'm going to slightly continue uh, one of the previous videos. So actually it's not really continuing, it's something else. Uh, but in a previous video I showed you how to use uh, Perl TK uh, to build a GUI for TK. Well, it was a really short video just for uh, give it a taste. And then I was thinking what kind of project could I build uh, using uh, Perl TK that can be useful and that can show you a couple of uh, things and and here in this video I'm going to introduce you uh, one of the projects that I'm starting to build or I'm thinking about building and I would love to get your feedback whether to see whether it's a good idea uh, to build it. So probably you're familiar with uh, the Perl uh, Tidy uh, module which is uh, both a, co a command line tool and is also a module in, in Perl that allows you to uh, after you know, uh, thoughtful configuration allows you to to tidy up to to tidy up your code basically to reformat your code to make it nicer to make it uh, uh, according to some standard that you can define okay so this is what what you see on the on the screen is the uh, man page uh, on on metacpan of the Perl tidy command line uh, script and you can see that uh, you can just run it and then it, you will give it a couple of files, you give it a couple of options. It can have a Perl um, tidy.rc file or some, whatever, Perl, uh, Perl tidy rc, I think that's the name. Um, and then in that file you can give the, com uh, the options. And what I'm thinking now is to build a, a GUI uh, using Perl TK uh, for now that allows you to play with the various configuration option, options and see how this uh, change your file so you can uh, decide what uh, feels better for you uh, when you're trying to configure it so first of all this is the the, the command line uh, tool that we have and then if we scroll down if i manage to scroll down here yeah here you can have all these uh, flags somewhere down there these are all just generic flags here are the formatting options so there are tons of these formatting options uh, whether to use white spaces or tabs or or I, I don't know how wide the lines should be and where the curly braces should be in, in your code. So all these uh, program, uh, all these flags that I usually have no idea what to do. So I, I just have something that I, I got from someone at one place and I'm just still using it. And I really would like personally myself to look at these parameters and see which one uh, it can be interesting. So this is on one hand uh, the command line tool. On the other hand, I uh, looked at the module which is called Perl Tidy, Perl Column Tidy, Double Column Tidy, whatever it is. Um, how could you? How could I use it without uh, running an external code? Because if I'm just already using Perl TK, then uh, I wouldn't want probably to run an external program, uh, even if it's another Perl program. I would prefer probably to have a, a module in, inside. So. What I have found is that uh, the module can be used in a really, really, well, strange, interesting, whatever way. You give uh, the source code, uh, so you run this function, Perl tidy. You give your source code to it, you give the destination, uh, and you give a place where to put out all the errors, uh, the command line parameters, where the Perl tidy RC file is, and, uh, and so on, all kinds of other things. I don't even know the rest. I just read uh, some of them. And what I read is somewhere that each of these, actually, if I scroll down here, each of these can be either a file name, or I don't know if each of them, but many of them can be either a file name, so uh, the Perl Tidy program can, the module can work on a file, or it can be, for example, a scalar, uh, a scalar so it's, uh, sorry, a reference to a scalar, which means that in that uh, scalar variable you will have the content. Uh, of that uh, whatever so it's uh, the source of, of the f of the original file or the destination where go where uh, the module will uh, put the result and the same is true with the with the Perl tidy rc so i can put here uh, the path to the configuration file or i can create a configuration a string that looks like the configuration file and then use that uh, uh, pass that here as a parameter and uh, the reference to it. So let's uh, have a look at the code that I wrote so far. It's not um, very fancy, very interesting. 
Uh, I think that's the, the name of the code. Actually, I have here in this directory, I have a separate script. It's just a script uh, with some code uh, on purpose, trying to create all kind of interesting uh, syntaxes that are just uh, there. Maybe I should actually put here some more. So maybe I put even more here. So this is like a, a standard piece of code I encounter in all kind of companies where, where uh, whatever, just random tabs and spaces all over the place. Um, and uh, tidy is supposed to re, uh, um, change the code to make it nicer. So this is the source code that I've built so far. It's just a command line, but I wanted to play, or play with the Perl tidy module to see how uh, I use it. So first of all, I, I load the Perl tidy module and also the path tiny, so I will, will be able to read in the content of the file that I'm actually uh, tidying up. Uh, for now, it's just hard coded the name of the file that you, you saw. That's just an experimental file. And then I use the pass function from, from the pass tiny to slurp in basically the whole content and put it in the variable code. Then I have this um, currently a hash. I don't know if it's a good, good idea, but for now, I started to use a, a hash where I have the some of these parameters, some of the configuration options that the, I read in the Perl tidy documentation. So here in the documentation, I encountered these flags and some va values that they, can, uh, that they can have. Actually, this variable maximum line length doesn't have a value as far as I know. It's just, it's just a flag. So it's either there or not. Um, and, um, and that's it. So this is like the configuration option. Then what I do here is just go over the, the fields and the, go over the keys of, of this one and I just sorted it so it's going to be the, the same order. And then I create basically a string. So this is $RC, which is a string um, that will contain, a, I'll format this as, as a string. So it's going to be minus minus in, in the uh, dash columns and then uh, equal four because that's how the, the format uh, is expected to, to work. So this is how I build this uh, configuration file basically, but I don't save it as a file. I just keep it as an RC, as a variable. And that's, then, then, then I call the, the Perl tidy uh, function that we saw in the documentation. I give it the source, but I give a reference to the scalar. Uh, I give a destination, which is just a, an empty variable for now. Uh, STDR, which as I understand is going to contain any error messages if the Perl tidy encounters something. I, I haven't been, uh, been able to create something there yet. So if you have something that will generate a, an, a, an error in this, that's uh, in Perl tidy, please send me something so I can have a, uh, an example for that. And maybe I should look at the source code actually to, of, of uh, the Perl tidy module and then uh, find there something. And anyway, it's um, and then then I, I say uh, so I print out basically I use the say of the the Perl say print out the original code some dashes and then either the standard error or the new source code. So now if I just switch back switch to the screen and I run Perl tidy, I don't need to give it anything else. Then it first it printed out the configuration to the RC file, and then it printed out well it's just playing around it for now. This is the original uh, version. So you can see the strange indentations here and the lack of spaces here. And this is after uh, the, the tidying. So uh, interestingly, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know how to configure it. Program, for example, I would like this to be uh, moved to it on its own line. So I will have to figure it out how to use it. But for now, I have this script uh, that um, can uh, uh, that's just the basics uh, of of this program. Now I'll have to start building uh, some GUI around it and uh, and see how can I use it to to show the various flags, the various various options. So uh, thank you uh, so much uh, for watching. I have no idea where the uh, image went now. I thought it's there. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope that the recording went well and. Uh, See you in the next video. In the meantime, if you like this and you'd like to follow it, then please follow the YouTube channel. And also there is the Patreon, Patreon account where you can support uh, my work and uh, the, in this project and in general in the videos. So thank you. Bye bye for now.